Hey you all, it's Elise and I meant to do a mornings with Elise today but couldn't do it because our internet wasn't working at the house because my dad is recovering from his knee surgery and live streaming all of his programs on our internet. So the internet connection wasn't so great. Anyway, Noah and I are on our way to a one-year-old birthday party and we wanted to hop on and say a quick hello. And I had some things to share with you guys that I think you're going to enjoy. Noah, want to say hi? Hi. What do you want to tell him? Anything? No? I got my finger <laughs> smashed in the window. He got his finger smashed in the window. How are you now? Good. You feeling better? Yeah. Alright, so anyway, we're headed over to a birthday party and I just had to pull over for a second because we were meeting my sister. And I wanted to share with you all something that I've been reading um, in the mornings when I take my Thrive, I take my capsule and then I wait 20 minutes and I drink my lifestyle mix. And my sister today was asking me, when do you have time to do all this reading? And I said, I read and or meditate and or write in my journal every morning between the time that it takes for me to take the capsule and drink the lifestyle mix. So I meant to share this with you on the mornings with Elise today, but like I said, it turns into afternoons with Elise because my dad's been live streaming um, his programs as he recovers from his knee surgery <laughs> and so I can't go live at my house so here I am in town going live for you all so here's what I'm taking away today is you have the opportunity to literally change everything about your situation and your life simply by plugging into personal development how many of you are reading every single day most Americans are not Thank you for hearting it up. Thank you for clicking the share button. Thank you for showing up on this live stream today. Um, and thank you for your comments. I love hearing from you guys. So type in the comments what it is that you're reading or listening to on your audio. Um, are you doing your personal development every day? And have you ever considered how that adds up? The experts tell us it takes 10,000 hours of practicing whatever your craft is to become an expert or a professional. So I don't know what it is that you're endeavoring to achieve in your life, but I guarantee you that if you spend every single morning reading and improving yourself, improving your mindset, staying plugged into your goals, you will achieve what you endeavor to do. And one of the books that I'm reading is called The Best Yes. Have you guys ever heard of this? It is a Oh, it's a Bible study um, from Proverbs 31 Woman. I think that's a blog. And the name of the author is Lisa Tyhurst. Tyrehurst, I think. Um, and the best, yes. Yeah. So basically what she's talking about is we are all spending our time doing something. And when you are burning your daylight hours, you're burning your time, and you haven't really decided proactively what it is that your soul is calling you to do in the world, and if you're ignoring that calling, that can lead to all kinds of emotional issues, can't it? And feeling stuck, and feeling um, just very unhappy in all things. But here's the beauty. Here's the beauty of being human. We have a choice. Every single day, we can choose what we do with our time and how that lines up with our goals. Are you guys with me on that? And have you had that moment of awareness, that wake up moment when you're like, hang on, if I'm going to change my future, I got to change myself in the moment. So in order to change yourself in the moment, it is best to stay plugged in to personal development and those audio books. And like it, I read in this book, The Best Yes, she said, Lisa the author said, that she had always wanted to write a book, but she never had enough time. Why? Because she wasn't mastering her time. She was saying yes to everything else, but not yes to her soul's calling. Have you guys ever made that mistake? You still with me? I don't see your comments anymore, so I think I lost you. I'll just continue. So she said that um, she, when she decided to sit down and really look at where she was spending her time and where she had her the opportunity to get time back in her life and spend that on her soul's purpose, that's where she was able to write her book. That was able, where she was then able to lead a Bible study. That's where she was then able to volunteer locally. Okay? So do you guys see this? I want everyone watching this video to audit your time this week. 
really map it out. How many hours or minutes are you dedicating to personal development, to work, to scrolling Facebook, to procrastination activities, to your family, to your self-care? Ask yourself honestly, just write it all out. I want you to see how much extra time you might have if you really mastered your time, if you became totally honest with yourself and how you are spending your time. And here's what she says in the book. When you spend your time on activities that are not fulfilling your soul's purpose, you are burning up that soul time, right? And so to get back into alignment with God and his calling on your life, and then really prioritize your time according to that because that's where you'll sense that sense of film fulfillment, okay? So thanks everyone for hopping on. Thank you for click and share. Thank you for joining me for these mornings with Elise. And I know today we went a little late, but I'm really wanting to be consistent on this and sharing what it is that I learn every morning during that morning time and helping you guys be inspired, helping you guys to be uplifted. And if you're a woman on a mission and you want to be that girl, then join our private coaching group where I will do, um, where we do share our private uh, book club that we're doing right now. We're reading a new book called Codependent No More. And I do think we're going to do The Best Yes. So if any of you are in the book club, get that book, The Best Yes, so you have it when we do announce that. I'll do it in December, okay? We all good? Any questions? If you want to uh, really change your life, Decide to change the way you live in the moment. Decide to change the way you think. Decide to change the way you talk. Sometimes you have to have discipline, right? We can't just be lackadaisical. We have to be proactive. We have to get after it. We have to t adopt that pioneering spirit or the spirit of the people who literally forged ahead and uh, they've invented things. They've um, traveled and explored new lands. Think of that mentality. That's the mentality you must have to live a life of freedom and purpose because you're going against the grain of our cultural conditioning and that can be hard. I know. Believe me, I know. We homeschool, we have a mobile-based business, and neither of us are employed by are employed by a corporation and our kids, they're not going to public school. So you better believe that we go against the grain of what society tells us to do. But our vision is so big, we are willing to push through the discomfort to achieve the goal. Are you guys with me on that? So whatever it is that you endeavor, just stay committed to it. I want to hear what your what your what's your soul's calling? Do you know? Type it in the comments. What is it that you want to do in the world? How do you want to affect change? How do you want to take care of the sick, the poor, the widow? How are you doing that today? And how do you want to show up and do that in 2017? Because I'm telling you, the world needs you more than ever to step into your gifts and live your life on purpose, fulfilling your soul's purpose. So if you haven't tried my new workbook, we have a free 13-page downloadable workbook for you at elislininger.com slash purpose. Who's done that workbook? I know Amber has. I know Stacy has. Suzanne has. So you guys, grab that new workbook. Fill it out. Literally slow down enough that you can fill it out and answer those questions and truly listen to your heart's calling. All right. Love you guys, and I'll catch up with you on the next Mornings with Elise. Hi, Amber. Congrats on um, Kelly's new promotion to 80K. How exciting. All right. Love you guys. I got to run. We have a birthday party for an adorable little one-year-old girl. We need to get to and attend and celebrate. And my son Noah is so patient waiting next to me. Say hi. Hi. He's listening to all this all the time. Is it filling you up, Noah? <laughs> I said, is it filling you up, Noah? And he goes, huh? <laughs> Are you listening to me or were you thinking about your own dreams? I said, is it all what? <laughs> you thought what? What'd you say? He doesn't know. <laughs> all right, you guys. Love you so much. I'm going to show you this piece of art in front of me. Can you see that? It's a horse. And it's made out of chain. Interesting. But it's taller than a person, that horse right there. It's a statue. So that's artwork. That's somebody's soul's calling, right? They're expressing that. So whatever it is you want to express in this world, you guys, get after it. Life is short and life is precious. And you've got a mission you need to accomplish. So we love you guys and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.